Minister for Mineral Resources and Energy, Kweri Mentashe, announced the preferred bidders for the risk mitigating IPP procurement program and released the RFP for between the five renewable energy IPP procurement program in March 2021. Kuha has been successful in two projects, mainly Car Powership and Mulilo Total Kuha LNG projects. Car Powership generates electricity from a floating power ship moored in the port of Nguha and it proposes three ships berthing during the project's lifespan. A floating storage tree gasification unit, also called an FSRU, and two power ships. The LNG carrier supplies the LNG to the FSRU. The power ships have 540 megawatts of design capacity and will connect to the existing Dediza substation. The Malilo Total Kuha LNG project entails the construction of a 200 megawatt gas power station and fuel will be imported in Nuha Harbour in LNG form and transported to site with LNG trucks. The LNG will be stored on site and regasified for use in the engines. This means that the Kuha precinct, after the successful completion of these projects, will have a 340 megawatts from the diesel peaking power plant, a 540 megawatts of power ships, and 200 megawatts of a Melillo project. That's over 1,000 megawatts of implemented power by 2022. With the current ongoing work for the 1,000 megawatts new power plant scheduled for 2024, this means that by 2025, the total gas electricity at Kuha will be over 2,000 megawatts. The total investments on these projects is well over 20 billion rand, comprising of the power plants, the gas facilities, the gas transmission and distribution infrastructure. There were four Kuha projects with which made submissions to the DMRE's risk mitigating MPP program, with the bulk of the projects being gas to power projects. Out of the four projects submitted, two were successfully pronounced. With the construction of one of the projects taking place at the Kuha SEZ, we are expecting over 1,000 construction jobs and further jobs downstream. Moreover, this would ensure that the economy has the required support for investment attraction and growth. Currently, there are plans afoot to ensure the impact of the project is felt throughout the market, locally and province-wide. Appreciating projects of this nature evolve with time and the fact that the CDC has been identified as a gas up, there are efforts in the long term to turn the city into a gas up. This would lead to residents depending less on electricity but rather use gas as a cheaper option.